just finished up a leg workout at 24 Hour Fitness. Here, um, I'm with Mark Rain. Some of you may know him as California Thor. Um, but we have a good workout we're gonna show you and a little interview with him. Uh, so stay tuned. All right, first let's start out with anyone that doesn't know Mark, um, also known as California Thor. Uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah, my name is Mark Rains, and I am a high school teacher in San Diego, California. Um, about five years ago now, um, I was teaching high school, and pretty much out of nowhere, um, I developed a neurological speech problem. Um, and I had worked out since I was in my 20s. I, I was uh, 40 then, and um, it was pretty traumatic. I couldn't figure out what was going on, and after, after a year of a lot of seeing doctors, working through speech therapy, um, a doctor tried me on Parkinson's medication, and it, it basically um, controls my speech problem now, um, but it makes me tired all the time. And, and like I said, I've been working out since my mid-20s, but what I started to realize was that if I went to the gym every day, that that would counteract some of the drowsiness that the drugs caused. And so since about 2012, I've worked out every day and it spikes my, my energy levels and it helps me deal with the drowsy side effects. I'm still tired a lot, but um, it's been super helpful and I really started to see my body change in really cool ways through that. Yeah, so that's the first time I've ever used bands like that with a squat. I've done it before on a chest routine, um, so I liked it. Um, I went pretty light because I've never done that before and had to get used to just the way it felt initially, so I started off being a little uncomfortable but going really low and then I kind of worked up to, to getting all the way to that great squat form, so I would do that again, um, but it's one of those things it takes getting used to. Uh, but I liked it. I like that it's different, and I like to mix new things in when I can. What are some opportunities that um, fitness has given you um, and the platforms that you use um, to talk about your Parkinson's and stuff like that? Yeah, I started sharing my uh, fitness journey in the fall of 2014 on Instagram um, just because I was sort of studying social media. I teach media classes, video film production, and I was kind of trying to learn the format. and. Um, and I saw that a lot of people interested in fitness were on Instagram, so I thought maybe I could share my journey with them. And, um, and the more personal I became and the more I told my personal story and my struggles and the more vulnerable I was, the more people followed along. Um, and, you know, hundreds became thousands, and then companies started contacting me about, about sponsoring me, which was not something I was ever really looking for. And, and now I have partnerships with some really great companies like Metabolic Nutrition, Flex Comics, um, Fitmark Bags, and just some brands that I really respect and really use and love um, are coming along and supporting my fitness journey and helping me to, to share that even more with other people. So it's been, been really cool. And so people that might not know, um, you just got done working at the Dallas Europa um, and you have a heavy travel schedule coming up. So talk about a little bit about your schedule and what you're doing and then maybe how fitness and nutrition has played into those things. Yeah, so uh, like Brad said, I did just work the Dallas Europa. Um, I'm going to be at the Charlotte Europa in a few weeks and I'm taking a little vacation here in Texas visiting some friends, some that I've known for a long time, some like Brad that I've met through mutual acquaintances on Instagram and through a mutual love of, of fitness, and that's been really cool. Um, but I track my macros pretty closely, and I, I, I've bought into the flexible dieting um, and really try to follow that, and, and I've seen, um, I guess, great goals met through flexible dieting and working out. So on a trip like this, um, it's not as easy as when I'm at home, but it's doable. So I'm able to have some of those fun meals but I'm also still watching those numbers and making sure I'm getting in as much protein and not um, too much fat, but the right amount of fat, the right amount of carbs, but it's not easy, but it's easier than some of the other diets that I've tried. The biggest thing that impacts me when I'm traveling is just the randomness of 
when I work out, where I work out, how I work out. And so, you know, if I'm traveling all day, I may go to a place where there's not a gym open anymore, or there wasn't a gym open early enough when I left. And so then it's like, I want to work out every day if I can. So, and I, and I usually do. So it might just be push-ups and sit-ups or swimming at the hotel pool. Um, and so it just takes being a little more creative to make sure that I get that daily workout in regardless of where I am, where I'm traveling, um, what my time frames are. I mean, I'm the guy you can see in the airport doing push-ups because that's the only time I have that day and I just feel better after doing it. And finally, for anyone that wants to know more about your uh, fitness journey um, or maybe uh, they might not know, but you've done a TEDx uh, talk. So if anyone wants to know more about that, where can they find more information? Yeah, so my Instagram account is California underscore Thor. Um, that's re really where I put the most effort in social media, um, but I'm also on Facebook, Mark Rains. Um, and then I do have a website, CaliforniaThor.com, and you can see either one of the, the two TEDx talks that I've given, um, but you can also see about my high school program that I lead, the video film production is really successful, our students do some amazing work on YouTube, um, and just find out a little bit more about my journey and the kind of things that I believe in and, and want others to um, come along and join me on, on this journey because I just want to be healthier, I want to live um, just a balanced lifestyle and, and I'm hoping that others will be encouraged and motivated by that as I've been encouraged and motivated by the other people who have come and joined me on this journey. So we'll link everything down below so you can go find it super easy. Um, uh, like you said, we just uh, met through the gym, become pretty awesome gym friends. Um, you meet great people through the gym, so uh, people are struggling to find people that have common interests as them uh, and feel like they can't make it in the gym because they don't know anyone else working out. Just get to the gym and, and you'll make those friends. So. Hope you enjoyed the video and don't judge any of the production value of this video on what his quality is because I'm doing it, not him. <laughs> <laughs> so after we got done with the gym, I was like, hey Mark, we should go to the community pool. And Mark was like, hey, we should fill up that inflatable pool that you have and sit in your driveway. So we're, uh, we're bringing you a little bit of Florida, Alabama redneck style pool. Um, and we have uh, this Costco inflatable pool. And uh, we're gonna get some lunch while that thing's filling up and then uh, we're gonna bask in the driveway. Oh yeah. A little gloomy looking, but we're still gonna lay out. Mark wanted uh, Mexican food, so we just went to El Tiempo and ate all the food. Um, I'm a little uncomfortable. <laughs> But totally worth it. Yeah, and now we went to HUB, got some candy, and uh, I do not recommend this at home. Yeah, and we're heading in to see Central Intelligence, so he's living up to that vacation, you know. And where's your candy? My pocket. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It fell out. Here, hold on. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> this is my candy because I ate so much at dinner. Mark had heard a lot about our donuts and he is about to drive from Houston to Austin. Um, so he pulled out some of his metabolic nutrition uh, protein powder. Um, what's the name of the protein powder? Uh, we're using Protozyme, banana cream, and peanut butter cookie. Yeah, so uh, Aubrey is frosting them right now. Um, we have a peanut butter chocolate uh, frosting going on the banana cream. And then we have a, just a regular chocolate uh, frosting going on the peanut butter cookie. So, um, we'll, we'll get the sample going on in a second, but give okay, you a close which, up what they look like. Which one do you want to try first? Whoa. I think I want to try the peanut butter with chocolate first. Okay. Do you want sprinkles? What? <laughs> now you're just going over the top. <laughs> sprinkles. I'm just going to put, um... Oh, chocolate and... Fun fatty sprinkles. This is rocking my world. Alright. Brad, you wanna try the other one? Yeah, I'll try. I mean, we have just try one of each. Just what's that one? 
This that is, one's the peanut butter. Okay. With peanut chocolate. butter cookie protozyme with chocolate frosting and chocolate sprinkles. Mmm. Is it moist? Oh yeah. Okay. It's so good. Whenever we try new protein powders, it's kind of I don't know. It's an experiment because some of them just turn out a little bit differently, but. I tasted the batter and they were both awesome, like really sweet. Um, I well, one of the good things about like the Protozyme is it tastes really good just with water on its own mm -hmm. without adding anything. And so you step it up a notch, add it to like a treat like this, it's amazing. And we usually use the PE mm -hmm. Science and that works really well but um, it, because it's a little bit sweeter and the macros are actually really good. And I believe from what you guys just read earlier, the macros are pretty similar on this um, protein powder as well. And I, you said it was it had some casein in it, no, or is it mostly it's just whey? Whey protein. Okay. Right, and the macros for this are the same as last time. It's around like two fat, um, eight protein, eight pro no right. yeah eight protein eight carb or something like that per donut. So yeah, it's per donut. So yeah. oh wow, it's uh, really good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like savoring it. Banana. This banana. Is banana cream with peanut butter chocolate frosting. I want to try one. Dang. I'm going to try a banana. Mm-hmm. I'm going to taste like I'm gonna, banana. I'm going to cleanse my palate between the two. <laughs> like when you're wine tasting. Except it's donut tasting. You want to try it? They're act they oh. actually are really moist. Um, I was a little bit worried. Oh, wow. Well, see, if you like banana, that's definitely a good protein. Powder. It kind of tastes like um, banana nut muffins, mm -hmm. but without all the fat and sugar, <laughs> but still a sweet. Wow, it's good.